Hey, it's Elizabeth Brown, the Kitchen Vixen, and I'm still on my OMAD kick. One meal a day. Oh, I get it. I'm on my salmon and peanut sauce kick, so I didn't have to redo my blackboard. And I'm gonna start with um, salmon in the skillet with a little bit of butter. I have these ingredients I wanna use up. It's Sunday, as you don't do a cooking video on Sunday. It took me a while to, to get motivated. I went for a run and I came back and did a lot of cleaning and laundry and, and organizing my pantry actually. So I actually have everything looking prettier than normal. I'm cleaning out my fridge. I got a piece of salmon I have to use today, which is why I'm cooking today on a Sunday. So I've got my skillet set on medium high, like four o'clock. I got like a good pat of butter in there. So I start with skin side down, the skin nice and brown. Yesterday I actually went to this really nice restaurant. It's a uh, true food kitchen. We have one here in Santa Monica, but I met someone for a date down in Newport, a nice restaurant, healthy food. And I had this amazing like composed salad or like a warm grain salad, more or less. A composed salad is something I used to actually do a lot when I was a private chef. I would do like raw vegetables and then a cooked grain or legume, usually lentils, and then fish or some type of protein on top. So I'm kind of going to, I'm sort of going to do a version like that, but just using whatever I have left. So I've got some radicchio left from my um, Imperfect Foods box. I've got some more of those shishito peppers I'm going to slice up, some red onion and kale, a little bit of a cucumber that needs to be used, and then my sweet potatoes. So I think the next step I'm gonna do is, I've got my water on the stove, I'm gonna parboil my sweet potatoes. I'm gonna do a small to medium cube, that's gonna be my carb for the meal. I took like basically like a quarter of a large sweet potato. Chandler, she smells fish. Chandler likes fish. Okay, so there's my, I mean, you could do as small as you want. It just depends on your on your patience. Cook those up in my, my little thing of water. So it's funny, I, I wasn't going to talk about dating, but I think it's a funny occurrence in people's lives. And I just have to say, as a PSA, for people that think they want to get divorced or they're in a relationship, they want to end it, just think about it before you do, because dating sucks. It's not fun. People are not nice. And sometimes you have to be not nice to like tell people if you're not interested, which that's hurtful but some people are just downright mean. <laughs> so anyway, when experience, don't do it if you don't have to. I share all my stories with my friends and actually a lot of my dating stories are in my book. A lot of dating experiences have actually um, kind of traversed my court. Not that I've like moved for guys, only one time did I do that to Maryland, but it actually helped me move from Maryland to then California. So that was actually, it was all a good thing. And then I moved to Vegas because I met somebody but ended up breaking up with them before I got there. So this is all in my book. It's a really good story. <laughs> I really enjoy writing it. And with my book, I also um, incorporate a lot of recipes and lifestyle tips and more like food tips, you know, like my smoothies and the health benefits that you get from different ingredients. But I think it's fun to tell stories in the process because it's entertaining and it tells my journey, which has been a really long journey and it has involved sometimes some dates. And I cut my kale up. I'm going to this is looking to serve as my salad green. I could cut it up again, maybe a little smaller. One thing I, I thought was pretty cool when I learned in culinary school to cut things into like bite-sized pieces so that who's ever consuming it shouldn't have to also additionally cut the food. So you want it to be edible right from the plate or the bowl. I like to use a really big bowl to compose my salad. I got my green. I'm gonna add a little vinegar. I'm also gonna add a little oil to my kale. Then I'm gonna massage it to make the kale a little softer, more edible. Like, yeah, my friends do applaud me for Continuing to put myself out back out there because oh, almost all my friends are in relationships or married or whatever, so they don't understand my plight. <laughs> and I'm older and I've never been married, so it's a weird thing. But as you get older, people have been through things and people judge each other. And I have four cats, so that's always scary, or I have a lot of shoes, but I am not my shoes. I am my cats because I will never get rid of my cats. So. That's a, that's a no non-negotiable aspect of me. But other than that, I'm pretty flexible. And I'm gonna slice up my radicchio. Radicchio is one of those bitter vegetables and some people don't like them at all. I actually love, love bitter vegetables, but mostly because I know how to balance the bitterness with sweet or salty so that it's just another enhancing flavor. It's one of those flavor profiles, bitter, salt, sweet tea, so sweet tea, bitter, salty, sweet, and what I would have called savory is is actually referred to as umami. There are nice people out there, I tell you there are, but there are just fewer and far between. 
Okay. I've got my radicchio and my kale. This is going to be a lovely salad. See? Looks pretty. Got lots of color, lots of antioxidants, disease fighters to help our muscles repair after exercise. Got a little piece of cucumber. I just kind of want to use that up. Sweet potatoes are cooking. My salmon's almost done. Again, we're, we want those omega 3s. We want to help protect our brain for prevention of dementia, but also for mental health. So I, I'm a big advocate of mental health overall because, as I mentioned, I work in nursing homes, but I primarily work in psych facility type nursing homes. So like we have a lot of psych patients that are on meds. But for those of us that have our option to cook for ourselves, you know, you want salmon, you want those omega-3s, especially the DHA, which you get from salmon, it's the longest chain of all the omega-3s, 22 carbon length chain. And so it will be incorporated into your brain tissue. The largest composition of your brain is DHA. So definitely want to always be replenishing that and whenever you can get it in your diet because it helps with mental acuity. It might help with prevention of depression. There is some association there. Um, I, I feel like exercise for me is the biggest thing though to help keep my mood elevated. So like even today, I was kind of lamenting over whether or not I wanted to go for a run because it's Sunday and I can go either way. But I find that if I don't do some activity, even on a Sunday, my other productivity is down, which is okay. Sometimes Sunday is just a great day to just lounge and Netflix and chill, but I, I don't, I want to be productive. All right, so I got my little shishito peppers. Add that some, for some color. See, more antioxidants. Probably rich in vitamin C. I haven't looked at that, but that's what usually we find in peppers. Vitamin C. Because if you don't like the, the bite of an onion, you can soak it in like a little bit of like pickle juice or it's if you heat it, I think it takes the bite out quicker. It's like it's warm pickle juice or warm vinegar and water, then it will decrease the whatever it is that usually upsets people's stomach. And I'm going to take the skin from the salmon and leave that in there. Skin off. It's easier to remove the skin, I think, once it's cooked. So there's my cooked sweet potatoes. The so last time we had little Julian, today we have medium dice. I'm just my salmon. <laughs> Okay, so I got the salmon, I got the skin cooking. Put my salmon on top. So I'm gonna add some of my peanut sauce to my salad. So there's my greens, all my salad. It smells really good. I know it seems silly to have tossed the kale with the oil first, but I really believe it's gonna make the kale softer, like more chewable. Salmon on top, skin. I decided to just crisp up my little sweet potatoes just a little bit in the skillet. They have a little better texture. Mm-hmm. The meal I had at True Food Kitchen yesterday, the sweet potatoes weren't done. They were okay, but, and you can eat sweet potatoes raw, so it's not harmful. But I definitely like the texture of it if it's a little softer. So there's my sweet potatoes. I'm going to add that to my salad. See how pretty the composition is. That's why it's called a composed salad. So I've got my wonderful carotenoids, beta carotene rich sweet potatoes, other carotenoids from my kale, uh, red onion and radicchio. So I get those wonderful powerful anthocyanins, which can squelch out a lot of free radicals by donating electrons. I got those omega-3s from my salmon, from wild salmon, for the brain health, the eye health, the good pounding heart that will always love no matter what. <laughs> and I always laugh about all of my mishaps in life, so it's in my book. You'll have to read it when I finish. Hopefully soon. I'm getting there. And after this, I'm actually, before I eat, I'm going to switch into some comfy clothes, take my hair down and eat and then be creative with my book because I did all my chores already. And so I was telling someone this morning how important I think it is to do your exercise first because that way it's done and you don't have to go through your day like, oh, I got to exercise. Oh, I got to exercise. Oh, I got to fit in exercise. Like, no, do your exercise first and then you're really happy. Like, oh, I got to clean. I vacuumed. I cleaned up my vacuum cleaner. <laughs> I never do that. I did so many things that I wouldn't normally do if I hadn't already exercised because of because of my run and now I'm going to eat a wonderful meal and then I'll be relaxed and creative and finish my book and I'm going to eat my salmon skin. So, mm, so good. All right, Elizabeth Brown, the kitchen vixen. Happy Sunday. Just do your exercise first and then eat well for the rest of the day and then everything else will fall into place. I promise. This is for my mom. I have to make sure I get a really good shot of my food because she always asks when I tell her to do a cooking video, she's like, what did you make? And then she's like, oh, it looks so good. I wish I could just reach in the camera and, and eat some. And when I show her the pictures, I mean, my mom is my biggest fan. I have to say I'm very lucky. And she's like, why don't you have a cooking show yet? She's like, you're so pretty. I know it's your mom, so, but I love my mom. She's the best. Bye.